When you consistently feel colder than others in the same room, it is a sign of cold intolerance, also known as chilliness. Such people always require more layers of clothing than others to feel comfortable. Heightened sensitivity to cold is not a disease in itself, but it can be a symptom of disease. The majority of cases of feeling cold are not attributed to a disease. Around 60% of cold intolerance occurrences are benign and related to factors like low body weight, dehydration, or poor circulation without an underlying medical condition. The question arises, why does a healthy person feel cold? The answer depends on body composition and individual factors. For example, Women typically have a lower resting metabolic rate due to having less muscle mass, which leads to producing less body heat. Additionally, their fat distribution is more concentrated in the extremities, resulting in their hands and feet experiencing less thermal isolation and feeling colder. Another factor is a low body mass index. Very slim individuals have less fat, providing less insulation, making them more susceptible to feeling cold. People with a slower metabolic rate also tend to feel colder compared to others, where genetic predisposition plays a significant role. Now, let's consider when diseases cause cold intolerance. The most common disease responsible for the majority of cold intolerance cases is anemia. A low blood cell count leads to impaired oxygen delivery to cells, causing cold intolerance. Anemia is responsible for almost 20% of cold intolerance cases. When coldness is caused by anemia, it commonly affects the extremities. Another condition is hypothyroidism, where insufficient production of thyroid hormones leads to a slow metabolism. This slow metabolism results in producing less heat and, consequently, feelings of coldness. Hypothyroidism is the second most common cause of cold intolerance when it is disease-related, accounting for 5-10% to of cases. The third most common cause is Raynaud's phenomenon, which occurs when blood vessels in the hands and feet overactively constrict in response to cold or stress. This vasoconstriction leads to a feeling of coldness. Approximately 2-5% to of the population experiences Raynaud's phenomenon. In cases of Raynaud's phenomenon, the affected areas change color. For example, fingers first become white due to vasoconstriction and decreased blood flow. Then, they turn blue due to a lack of oxygenated blood, and finally, they turn red because of compensatory oxygenated blood supply. Usually, the cause of Raynaud's phenomenon is unknown, but sometimes it can be attributed to vitamin deficiencies especially vitamin B12 and vitamin E. Anorexia nervosa, an eating disorder commonly found in teens and young women in their early 20s who severely restrict calorie intake, is another contributing factor. Individuals with this condition have very low body mass and are often extremely slim, commonly experiencing a constant feeling of coldness due to impaired metabolism.